Hey, it's Tom from WPWithTom.com, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to stay on track in 2021 and what tool that I use to keep me on track throughout the year. So let's dive in. So the tool that I actually use is called Todoist, and if you went to Todoist.com, you can see for yourself, they have a free and a premium plan, and I actually only use the free plan, and I've used it for a long time now. So you would need to sign up for an account to get started, but I'm gonna show you around in the inside. So when you set up tasks on here, it basically just keeps you on track throughout the year. So before I left my nine to five job earlier this year, I was using Todoist to stay on track every day. In particular, for me, it just took the guesswork out of things and I'd get home after a long day at work and I knew exactly what I had to work on. I knew that I had those tasks already scheduled in Todoist that I needed to get done. So it just took any of that guesswork out of it and I knew exactly what I needed to focus on every day. So what I did was I worked on tasks every day after work for over nine months straight. Basically, I only missed two days during the weekdays after work and I worked every Sunday as well. Really, it wasn't a lot in terms of hours, but I was doing a lot of little things to keep the businesses that I work on moving and I have a bunch of different websites and businesses. So it really helped me and it helped me to be able to earn enough to leave my nine to five job. So without Todoist, I really don't think I would have ever gotten this much done. And that's why I want to recommend it for people that are trying to stay on track in 2021. So what can you do with this exactly? You can go and add different tasks. So if I wanted to add a task right here is my day for December 8th. I'm actually recording this a little before the new year because I'm going on vacation for the next couple weeks here soon. But here, if we go and go add a task, you can simply go and type in a task. So let's just say I want to add in the task record a video and I hit enter. Now you see all these other ones have red circles next to them. This one does not. So if you go over here, it actually gives you a priority order. So priority one, which means high priority. Then you do priority two, three, and this is priority four where it's not really that big of a priority. I kind of use this, but in general, I usually use priority one for things I have to get done. And then I'll have like priority two if uh, it's like brush your teeth or priority three, brush your teeth or something like that that you wanna do each day that's like a no-brainer task. So I would make almost everything priority one and my list really consists of almost all priority ones, things that I need to get done that day. But if you want to use the system, you can go and use different ones here. So if I make it red, you can see it just turns to red right there. So you can see right here, this one is count calories and add it in a spreadsheet that I use to count my calories. So that one I have bolded. So to add bolding to it, you can actually go in here, click it, and then you can edit it and here what you would do is just add two different asterisks in front and then two different asterisks at the end and hit enter or save and now it goes to bold record a video is right here so let's say you want to duplicate this task you can go right over here and then you would click on it and then here you have the option to duplicate it and then it's in there now if you want to delete it, you can go over here and delete the task as well it's going to ask you if you want to confirm that and you delete it and once you complete a task, you literally just click on this and check the box right there and it says one task completed. So going off of that, if you went up here to the upper right, you can actually click on here and see your productivity and how you're doing throughout the year. Now this is kind of like gamification that they built into this, but I like to see how I'm doing from time to time. And I set a goal a while ago to get 10 tasks a day. In reality, I don't even schedule 10 tasks most days anymore, but I used to schedule more little things like brushing your teeth as an example or things like that, uh, working out every day and stuff like that. So you can go in here and click edit goal and you can change the daily goal. So let's just say I want to change this to eight and I'll save that. And now it's eight a day is my actual goal for tasks to get done each day. If I X out of that, I go back here. Now it says three out of eight completed so far today. So you can go and view your completed tasks up here as well. And you can see that I've actually completed 5,148 tasks. And that's about in the last year or so that I've done that. So I've been doing it basically since around January of 2020. And I've completed this many tasks. Now, most of them are work-related tasks. A lot of small ones, as I said earlier. But it really just keeps me on the ball and keeps things moving forward. And what I do is I literally just leave this open all day, every day, right next to my email. And I look at this when I first start working in the day and I see what are my goals? What do I need to get done this day? And I usually plan it in advance. So I have the days planned. So you can see I have tomorrow planned 
already I'm going to record a Divi module tutorial and I'm going to upload that tutorial after I do that. That's one of the things I have planned. So let's just say you want to go and add a task and it's going to be work out in the morning, which I've already done today, but you can see it's over here. So what I would do is I'd go work out in the morning and you can actually go and add specific times like this or plan things in the future. I'm just going to go and hit backspace backspace so it doesn't log that in like that so it doesn't auto fill it so it's always going to be in the morning like that so what we'll need to do is go and click on this and here it says today so it says work out in the morning today you can go in here and write every day or you can write every Tuesday every Monday so if you do every day you can see it says repeats every day right here so that task would show up every day as something you need to get done which is what I've actually done already right down here with this workout in the morning task. I have this scheduled right here and I do it every day, the stretching routine every day. So these are going to be repeated tasks and you can set them up for tasks that you're going to need to repeat every day. So I'm going to go and just delete this one right here. And the last thing I just wanted to quickly show you is if you wanted to rearrange these, you can just go click, hold and drag it and drop it in a different place to rearrange them throughout the day. You can actually go and rearrange them and put them into the next day. So let's say you don't get all the tasks done in one day and you still got to record this Divi video tutorial right here. You can go and drag it and drop this one down into the next day if you need to do that. So that is how you would go through the process of making those changes there. And it will order them by the actual priority level. So by default, red ones will be at the top, then orange, then blue, then white. So if this was a blue one right here for the count calories and add it to a spreadsheet, you can't actually drag a blue one above a red one throughout the day. So it does use this hierarchy here in terms of the priority, but that's really about it for that. And really, that's just a quick overview of what I do. Again, this is completely free to use. So I definitely recommend just trying it out. I've actually tried paid apps and things like this to keep you on track. And I kept going back to this one after I tried a bunch of different ones. This was the one that just worked well for me. And I really hope that it works well for you because it has worked wonders for me this year. It's really been almost life changing when I look back at how much I've been able to get done, especially when I was working the nine to five and I needed to just keep moving the needle, keep making a little bit of progress day after day, each day. So it really helped me out. And I really hope that it does for you as well. They also do have an app for this as well, but I prefer to use it within the browser because I'm usually working on my desktop computer and it just is easier for me, but they do have an app that you can use as well for this. I really hope that you just enjoyed this Todoist video overall, and it does help you thrive in 2021 and beyond. If you did like this video, feel free to subscribe for more videos that I'm going to be making. And thanks for viewing. Have a wonderful day.